Well, it has been a few months since the state approved raises and bonuses for the ones who process your license at the DMV. Still, the DMV offices are facing significant staffing shortages. CBS 17's Joseph Holloway spoke with state transportation officials about the shortage. The new pay classification system for state employees included only a small salary bump for driver's license examiners at the entry level. It also includes a $1,500 retention bonus and a $1,500 sign-on bonus. But Amanda Olive with NCDOT tells me that money may not last. It's only as long as the money lasts that we got from the legislature because we don't have the reserves in our budget to be able to continue to do this without that that additional funding that came from the legislature. Olive says despite training and graduating more than 40 examiners last week, DMV offices are still seeing a 28% turnover rate over the past year. That means those long lines you're seeing at the DMV could continue for the foreseeable future. I mean, industry standards, you typically see a turnover rate of like 10%, 10 to 11% is considered norm. So looking at something that is that high is it's fairly significant. Officials with the State Employees Association say the raises approved in the budget earlier this year haven't kept up with inflation or the private sector. CBS 17 talked with Republican leaders in the General Assembly about this issue. So I think the pay is one piece of it. I don't know that that's the entirety because you go out in the private sector, they're having the same problem. Lawmakers say they plan to take up this issue in their next session. Olive says it's much needed because the current salaries just won't cut it. $40,000 may not be worth it for you, especially with the fact that we're competing with so many different industries and types of jobs right now. If you're interested in applying for one of the licensed examiner positions, we posted a link in this story at CBS17.com. Joseph Holloway, CBS 17 News.